Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my experience with COVID during this pandemic and with being pregnant. Um, I want people out there that are pregnant to be cautious as I thought I was doing good. I thought it was safe. I thought I was in the clear. It turned out I wasn't and it definitely affected my pregnancy. I want to inform you guys and just kind of share with you guys my experience to help prevent any issues that you guys might come across later. Let's go ahead and get started. I want to start off by saying I hope um, all of you guys are doing well during this time with the pandemic going on, the fires, and just the crazy world that we're living in. Okay, so we're gonna take it back a couple months. So back in the beginning of July was when I had my baby shower. Um, I called myself having my baby shower because this is my first experience being pregnant i wanted to be around family and friends and i wanted everyone to be there for pedro and i's first kids experience i could have done a drive-by baby shower but i don't live in my home city so i would have had um people driving to go to a drive-by where they wouldn't even be able to see me or like hang out or anything so it wasn't something I was ideal for. So I figured, oh, I'll just have a baby shower. We'll try to keep it small. We will have our family and then we'll ask, um, invite friends, like a few friends. It definitely exceeded the whole 10 people, the whole thing that was going on. But in my head, I was like, I'm at, I have one more month of my pregnancy. I've been safe and healthy this entire time. I think I'll be okay to be around my family because I was already around them like before. Um, I just didn't have everybody all together at once. So that, first of all, was not the best um, thing to do was to have a baby shower. I definitely, if I would have known this would have happened, I definitely would have just canceled and just been on my own for the for the for the whole thing. It wasn't probably the smartest thing to do anyways um so this started july 11th which was the day of my baby shower that night after like um cleaning up and everything i actually went to my friend's house to go swimming and we swam for a few hours and then i went home i well home is my mom's house i went to my mom's and Pedro and i slept there and we slept with the fan on so and i woke up at two in the morning like with the stuffy nose like and i got out of the because we were sleeping on an air mattress i got off the air mattress and i sat on the bed i mean on the couch because i couldn't breathe so i was like let me sit up so that my body can like flow and breathe properly so i just ended up falling back asleep on the couch sitting up and it helped clear out my nose and so i instantly thought in the morning like wow i'm getting a cold because i just went swimming sho showered and then slept under a fan which is i always was told that's how you get sick and that's usually how i would get sick but um that wasn't the case i guess um so some of the symptoms that i had or side effects symptoms some of the symptoms i had was a stuffy nose which is why i thought it was from swimming and then sleeping under a fan i had watery eyes i would get a headache and then um i eventually lost my taste and my smell but during that entire time I was sick, I never got a fever. And so my sickness did last two weeks. I knew I was sick. I wasn't being um, like unaware. I just didn't think it was the virus. I just thought I was getting sick because I, everyone I was around, nobody mentioned being sick. Um, my boyfriend didn't get sick. My family members weren't sick. So I was just like, um, it's pre I'm pretty sure it's cold. So it wasn't until a week passed from July 11th, a week passed, and then Pedro started getting sick. And I was like, crap, now I got him sick. I was in my head, I'm just like, let's both get like healed before I go into the hospital. That's all I want. Regardless of if it's a virus or not, I want to be healthy before I have to give this birth to this baby because I was extremely tired um, during the, the sickness and I just, I wasn't able to function properly like I wanted to. I felt like I was sleeping a lot. And then I was doing research, like trying to see, is this the virus? Is this the cold? Is this the influenza flu? Like I had no idea what the heck was going on. So I just kept researching stuff and that just kept scaring me. But nothing really clicked to make me feel like I need to go get tested. Mainly because I didn't want nothing on my nose. That was my biggest fear 
even going into the hospital to give birth until I found out literally the week I was sick my doctor was like oh and just to let you know once you get admitted into the hospital you're going to be tested for COVID and I was like cool so regardless I was going to have a stick on my nose so yeah back to Pedro so a week later after I was sick Pedro started getting sick and he was going through the same symptoms I was so but for him I was able I was like okay cool you're sick let's go get you some cold and some cold and flu medicine some cough drops all this stuff some soup because for me I was pregnant all I can really have was soup hot water with lemon and cough drops and so for him I was like cool let's go ahead and bust out these these um medicines so that you can get better but that wasn't the case either but luckily his sickness did only last a week so I don't know if it was the medicine that helped or if it was just coincidental that since I was pregnant my immune system was already a lot weaker so it took me longer to get better versus him um so we both ended up feeling better probably by the end of July like it probably no later than like the end of July for sure we were both better healthy not experiencing anything so regardless of if it was COVID in my head I was like by the time August the end of, middle of August comes I'm gonna be good so it wasn't until August 10th when I was admitted into the hospital tested for COVID and found out the next day I was positive um I got my results the next day in the hospital and that's where basically I left off in my last video, but I didn't get to tell you guys because I filmed that video prior to having my next results. So I tested again August 20th um, at a clinic and I tested negative. So it took almost 45 days probably for this virus to get out of my system to where I, to where I can test negative. Um, I got my test results in four days, by the way. But at that time, Pedro also got tested because we have a newborn and we weren't sure, like, is it going to affect him? So we were kind of cautious. We were wearing masks around the house. It was a whole a whole thing that was just unnecessary and just crazy. Um, so he got tested on the 20th as well, but his test results came back positive. So in my head, I'm like, okay, how's this, how does this affect me? Am I going to catch it again? How does it affect our child? Like, what do we need to do? And the thing that's so frustrating is that none of the doctors know like what the hell's happening they don't know if i'm gonna catch it again they don't know if the baby's gonna get it they don't they didn't know anything which was making it frustrating for me because i'm like i have a newborn how do i keep my baby safe but nobody gave me answers so when pedro tested negative um we basically were just trying to be cautious continuing to be cautious and then he didn't get tested again until the beginning of september so september 3rd he got tested and and he got his results back a couple days later he tested negative so now we are both negative I wanted to make sure I shared that with you guys because if I would have watched the video that I filmed last I would think oh she's still positive I don't know what happened with her so I wanted to make sure to come on explain my situation and share with you guys that I am negative Pedro's negative and our baby is healthy as far as we know like everything that he has been getting checked for has been good so now in this part of the video i just want to share with you my experience with being in the hospital with covid so being in the hospital with covid sucked um so if you are pregnant please be careful when you're out and about i don't care if your due date is next month i don't care if it's next year be safe because this is probably one of the scariest loneliest depressing experiences i've had and the fact that i'm giving birth to a child and this is a great experience but the fact that I tested positive made everything horrible okay once they found out I was positive obviously you guys saw that Pedro had to leave but that very next moment the nurse came into my room the whole time we were all just wearing masks but right after I tested positive they came in with masks the face shield the suit everything and not only that but I could only have my nurse and doctors in my room um, no one else was able to be in the room at all, like anyone else. And I say that because I'll later explain to you why that was important to me. And every single time the nurses had to leave the room, they had to take off their gown, their gloves, like everything had to get removed. In my head, I'm like, damn, that's wasteful. You guys have to put the suit on every single time, throw it away, put it on, throw it away. So they had to enter my room, do all that, which made it suck for me because I'm like, if I need something, if I have to call someone, they're going to be like, crap, we have to go to this guy, this girl's room where she's positive and we have to put all the suit stuff on. So it made me feel like a burden on my nurses and the doctors. Um, the reason I say it was the most loneliest thing is because 
you're not seeing anyone in that room besides yourself and then when you give birth your child and you can only get help from your nurse I mention this because when you give birth they offer you a lactation cons a lactationist lactation nurse or whatever the person that helps you with breastfeeding they offer you that they get your baby's hearing screened um, to check if the baby's hearing is okay and for me I did not get to experience any of that I had to speak to the lactation nurse over the phone and I had questions about my milk because of medication that I needed to take and so I couldn't even get no questions answered nobody knew anything literally um, to take my lunch order I had to be on the phone like nobody was able to go into my room which made me feel like I have this I mean I guess it is a deathly virus but it just made it I don't know it just made me feel weird that I knew I was healthy I knew I was fine I knew I wasn't sick but everyone else had treated me like I was made me feel uncomfortable and like ill don't go into that room that girl is sick and I hated that feeling um, not having anyone there for support made me even feel more sad and all I did basically in there by myself was be on FaceTime with my mom or with Pedro but yeah i just wanted to share that information with you guys because that is what you will experience if you test positive and if you're going into delivery um and then the last thing i want to share is just how frustrating it was for me to have all these questions from my doctor like how do i protect my baby and for them to not have any answers is what really was crazy it's like okay i get it we don't have a vaccination or a vaccine for this virus we don't have much information on it but it's been almost a year like can somebody come up with some sort of research answers or something because in my head I thought it was ridiculous that they don't know what's gonna happen to these kids if they catch I mean they it's just all like what if or possibly or maybe or there's no certainty and I don't like that and maybe that's common sense to you but for me it was frustrating and a hot mess um and i didn't like it all right so that's the end of my video i hope the timeline went smoothly because sometimes my brain s scatters information everywhere and so i hope it made sense i hope that it connects i hope you guys understand i hope this video was good if you have any questions let me know um yeah i think that's all thanks all for thank you everybody that has subscribed to this channel and thank you everyone that has been supporting me from the beginning um look out for more videos i know i mentioned in a few videos back that i would not be having a lot of baby related videos but at this point like i have a lot of information that i've learned and i want to share that and just have it be a part of my videos so most likely I will be having more videos coming out soon, um, baby related and just kind of all types of videos. So be on the lookout. I hope to see you guys next time and stay safe.